Well, what's up, America? It's old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel, coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, I'm um, back on uh, studying the Trump situation again, and it's amazing to me uh, how popular that man is in America, and uh, I think uh, it's a possibility that uh, he might get elected to president of the United States of America. And uh, I got... Uh, uh, I told you before I was uh, thinking about being the vice president for him and, you know, help him along like that and stuff. And I've been thinking more about that, and so uh, <clears throat> that's kind of what i come up with. Uh, I've been hearing from, uh, you know, uh, my folks have been talking to his folks, and his folks have been talking to my folks back and forth. I mean, I ain't even met the man personally or nothing like that. But uh, we've been talking back and forth and everything, and so he was looking for more ideas on how to get him more popular than he already is, and so I mentioned to him uh, my AR-15 idea. Uh, for y'all those of y'all who ain't and watched my videos before, uh, my AR-15 uh, presidential run campaign thing was that uh, the military's got all these guns <coughs> and uh, tanks and stuff like that that uh, they don't need no more, and they're giving them to the police departments, and, uh, and a lot of them are given to uh, people overseas, some of them over there in the Middle East and stuff like that. Well, I figured, well, hell, it'd be better to give an AR-15 to every American for free, you know, because some of us can't afford one. I've always been wanting me one, and I can't ever afford to buy one. And so uh, all them extra AR-15s, you ought to give them to Americans first. So that was my idea. So I passed that on to the Trump uh, people, and they liked it. They said, that, that's a pretty good idea. They was going to run it by old Trump himself and see if he's interested in uh, putting that on his campaign promises and stuff like that because I mean he's promised to do a whole lot of stuff and uh, so uh, that's one of the things we talked about and everything like that and so I'm uh, uh, got some more ideas for him I want to share with him and see what he does and stuff like that and uh, maybe uh, you know he gets to, if he gets to be president well he, he'll give out the AR-15s like I was going to do see I mean that's what you got to do if you can't win the campaign yourself you got to you know, use your power, like I got, to get things done. So the AR-15s will be one of them when we'll get two done with Trump and uh, and everybody get a, a gun and stuff like that. Okay, so um, some other things uh, I was thinking about that, that Trump ought to do is, uh, you know, he ought to set up a poor man's party. I mean, he's getting some of the working man class folks that's liking him. And so he ought to, what he ought to do is go on and change his whole party Get on out of the Republican Party and just go on and, and swoop, swoop it over. Um, you know, if he gets to campaign, he can run as a Republican and as a Republican in the poor man's party. See, if he's smart like that, he'll get a whole lot of votes and everything. He'd get on up there and get elected. And uh, so, anyways, that's the idea I had, and uh, I was going to share it with him and see what he thinks. And I'll let you know if he uh, decides to make me vice president. Uh, like I said, I ain't going to be no sitting duck like uh, vice president. I'm going to get stuff done. So, Anyhow, that's all I got for today, Jim Bob's out.